Now we'll look at several examples of determining the solution to a system of linear equations graphically. We want to identify the solution to the system of equations as an ordered pair, and if there's no solution, we enter D and E. The solution to a system of linear equations is an X and Y value that satisfy both equations, which graphically would be the point of intersection. So notice how these two lines intersect at this point here. The coordinates of this point is the solution to the system of equations. So notice how the X coordinate is negative three and the Y coordinate is positive three. So the solution is the ordered pair negative three comma three, meaning X equals negative three and Y equals three. Next we're asked to match the equation to the line. So looking at this first equation, we have Y equals two X plus nine. It's in slope intercept form. So we should recognize the slope is positive two, the vertical intercept is positive nine. Let's focus on the slope. Only one line here has a positive slope. That would be the red line because it's going uphill from left to right, or we say it's increasing. And therefore Y equals two X plus nine would be line A, the red line. And notice the second equation, y equals negative four x minus nine, has a negative slope, so it's going downhill from left to right, or decreasing, which is the blue line, line B. Looking at our next example, again, we're given the graphs of the two equations. Notice how we do have a solution because we have a point of intersection here, where the x coordinate is positive one, and the y coordinate is negative three. This is the solution to our system, meaning the solution is x equals one and y equals negative. Now we want to match the equations to the lines. So we first have x plus y equals negative two. So if we have x plus y equals negative two, we can easily put this in slope intercept form by subtracting x on both sides. That would give us y equals negative x minus two if we want negative one X minus two. So this first equation in slope intercept form tells us this line has a negative slope as well as a vertical intercept of negative two. But notice how the red line or line A is the only line with a negative slope because it's going downhill from left to right or decreasing. So again, this first equation must be line A. Of course, we know the second equation must be line B or the blue line. But just to verify this, if we were to solve this second equation for y, we would add x to both sides, giving us y equals x minus four. If we want one x minus four, notice how this line has a positive slope, and therefore it would be the blue line or line B. Looking at this example, notice how the two lines are parallel, so they never intersect, which means there's no solution to the system of equations. So for our homework system, we want to enter D and E for no solution. We still want to match the two equations. We know they're going to have the same slope, so in this case, we'll focus on the vertical intercepts. Let's go ahead and solve this first equation for Y. So if we have nine X plus three Y equals negative 15, we'll first subtract nine X on both sides. That would give us three Y equals negative nine X minus 15, and I will divide everything by three. So we have y equals, this would be negative three x, and then minus five. So notice how this line has a vertical intercept of negative five, and notice how the red line is a line that has a negative vertical intercept, and therefore this first equation would have to be line A. I won't show it here, but if we solved the second equation for y, we'd have a positive vertical intercept, and therefore the second equation would have to be line B. Let's take a look at one more example. Again, we have the graph of the two lines. We do have a point of intersection, and therefore there is a solution here where the X coordinate is positive three, and the Y coordinate is negative three. So as an ordered pair, we have three comma negative three, which means X equals three, and y equals negative three is our solution. Now we want to match the equations to the lines. So looking at this first equation, we can solve this for y by adding one half x to both sides. We'd have y equals one half x minus nine halves. Now if we solve the second equation for y, we'd add x to both sides. 
we'd have y equals x minus 6. So this first equation tells us we have a slope of 1 half. The second equation tells us we have a slope of positive 1. So ignoring the vertical intercepts for a moment and focusing on the slopes, because 1 is greater than 1 half, this line would be increasing faster or going uphill faster. So the second equation would have to be line B, the one in blue. So again, the second equation would be B. The equation with a slope of 1 half is increasing, but not as fast. So it's not going uphill as fast, which would be the red line or line A. I hope you found this helpful.